Hey guys, thanks for being here and watching. So what I'm doing right now is looking at the autopsy report, putting things together, taking notes in a very factual way, hoping that you get something out of this as much as I did. As a reference, this report was published on October the 11th of 2022. One of the first things that I find interesting here about this report and I am taking notes, or I was when I was thinking out loud here. So um, I'm making notes on the final report. Classification was an accident. Now, in the report also, it says that the only family was Lindsay Neiman. And, th and this is from the final report. It says mother, Lindsay Neiman. But if you look into the rest of the report, Lindsay Neiman and... Her ex-husband were contacted, Daniel Rodney, were contacted regarding Kylie. So why was Daniel left out of the report? I found that was interesting. So if you look at the top left, you can see which page I'm looking at. But there are several pages. And this is, I think, the incident report from Deputy Norton, where he also contacts uh, Lindsay and Daniel. So why not put that in the final report? So then here we have uh, the cause of death. Also, it just says drowning. Okay, fair enough. Cause of death, drowning. But it doesn't really tell you due to what. I just figured that the report from October would at least give the cause as Kylie being intoxicated, but nothing. It says due to and left empty. And I'm thinking not driving under the influence. You can't even put that. And this is the the page in the report where it just says A, immediate, B, due to, nothing, nothing, nothing. You think that it would be due to driving under the influence. So the fact that that's left empty is interesting to me. You know, the other thing that's so interesting is if you look in the report, it says manner of death. And it says, again, accident. And here in the supplement report says the manner of death in this case has been determined to be accidental but nobody gives us any like information around how this accident happened right so i'm wondering if the classification accident and the manner of death accident is that derived from the ch report chp report excuse me but we don't have that information so anyway just something to think about for chp has been on this because chp contacted Lindsay and daniel so their report started a long time ago and where is that information now? I decided to include this because I felt like it was relevant because they're talking about CHP. Now, remember that on October the 6th through the 4th, SF Investigates was the one who released and spoke about the vehicle caught on the fire cam video. So here on October the 6th says, look, I'm just stating how it looks, man. You say you want the family and friends to be left alone. So why then go back and say you don't agree that she went in at the time it's been stated which then would lead people to continue to bash the fam and friends. So he goes, SF investigate says, I wasn't aware the CHP report was out with the time it's been stated. Can you link to that? Think about that conversation. Did SF investigates know something that was in that CHP report that to this day, us, the public do not know? And is it significant to why the autopsy and final coroner report is stated the way it is? I have also provided a screenshot of Lindsay Neiman speaking about CHP and basically a day after um, saying that she wasn't in the lake. They have looked and saying things like, we are still trying to piece together the night's narrative to figure out when she left and whom she left with. So all of this to me just doesn't seem right, but that's just my opinion. But I want to get your opinion as well. And here we have another tweet from the Twitter from SF Investigates because we all know he's a songbird. And so we know about these cones, right? Those cones are CHP's cones. So SF Investigates is probably working closely with CHP. I mean, I don't know his authority on that. But anyway, those cones were there to determine water levels. Uh, CHP was trying to determine, you know, they're trying to work on their accident report. Now, this, to me, confirms that CHP was working on some sort of accident report. And to this day, they cannot release it. And 
I feel like that report would give us just so much information. All right, so we're going back into nerd report. So the description of the injury here, it is in the autopsy. Injury information just says accident. Doesn't give you a date of the injury, which I think is interesting. I want to know why. Remember, this report was from October the 11th. So by October the 11th, if you have already determined it was an accident and where it happened, why would you not be able to put a date on it? So my question uh, being, how was this, how was this determined? Like the decedent drowned in the lake? How was this determined without water found in the lungs? So if you're telling me that she drowned, what was it? that gives you that conclusion because it wasn't the water in the lug so there was none so what other information was present not shown to the public if so why was it not released okay well anyway i hope you guys can do something with this and i really look forward to reading the comment section please let me know if this new format works for you i know i did a lot of writing but i'll see you soon thanks for being here bye y'all